today's video, I am going to solve the most important problems using jet transforms. So we have to find the values of the following. That is jet transform of cos n t and jet transform of sin n t. And next one, z of cos n pi by 2 and z of sin n pi by 2. And the next one is jet transform of a power n cos n t and z of a power n sin n t. See here, let's get started to solve. So first one I will consider. See, now consider z of cos t plus i sin t par n. See here, as you know that cos t plus i sin t is nothing but e par i t par n. So from according to the z transforms, we have z of a par n is equal to this is z by z minus a. So from the functions of the z transforms, we have z of a par n is equal to z by z minus a. In place of a, we have e par i t. So I am writing this as z by z minus a. In place of a, I am writing e par i t. So in order to solve this, so this is nothing but z transform of cos t plus i sin t par n. So now I am multiplying and dividing with. See here, z of z minus e power minus i t by z minus e power minus i t. I am multiplying and dividing. And so if I multiply, this is z into z minus e power minus i t by if I multiply these, this is z minus e power i t into this is z minus e power minus i t. Now, if I multiply this one, so this is z minus minus of, so this can be written as e power minus i t. And next one here is, if I multiply these two, this is z square minus z into e power minus i t. If I multiply these two, this is minus z e power plus i t and this is minus into minus plus e power i t into this is e power minus i t. So, I can cancel these two. So, here what happens? This is z minus e power of minus i t by this is z square. If I take z common from these two, see here, here it is z and here it is z. If I take minus z is common this will be e power minus i t plus e power plus i t plus 1 and now see here if i continue like this as z of z minus e power minus i t is nothing but this is cos t minus i sin t by see here this one will be this is z square so, this is z square minus z of e power minus i t can be written as cos t minus i sin t and this is e power i t. It can be written as cos t plus i sin t. Clear? Plus 1. Now, I will cancel this minus i sin t and plus i sin t. And what remains now? So, this will be z minus z minus cos t minus minus of minus this is plus i sin t clear by so this one will be z square minus z of this is cos t and this is again cos t see here this is cos t and this is cos t so this will be 2 cos t plus 1 and now see here this can be divided as a real part and imaginary part z into this is z minus cos t and the next one if i multiply these two this is the imaginary part z into this is sin t by so this is nothing but z square minus 2z cos t plus 1 so what is this actually actually this is nothing but so from where we have considered this is nothing but cos t plus i sin t par n. So, we got this as z by z minus cos t by, so this is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1 
plus i times of so this is imaginary part z sin t by this is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1 now after equating the real parts and imaginary parts see here after equating the real parts and imaginary parts so this is nothing but z of this is cos nt plus i sin nt is equal to this is z into z minus cos t by this is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1 plus i times of this is z sin t by this is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. So, if I equate then our cos t will be cos z of cos nt value will be see here very clear z of cos nt value is equal to equating the real parts. So, this is z into z minus cos t by this is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. This is real part, equating the real part on both sides. If I equate the imaginary parts on both sides, then this will be z of sin nt is equal to. So, this is nothing but z sin t by z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. Clear? So, we got both the values that is cos nt. This value we got z of cos nt and z of sin nt and next we have to find out the value of z of cos n pi by 2 and z of sin n pi by 2 so in place of t i'll substitute pi by 2 see here in place of t i'll substitute pi by 2 so we need the value of z of cos n pi by 2 so, in this, if I keep t value as pi by 2, see here, this will be z minus z minus cos pi by 2 by, so this is z square minus 2z, this is cos pi by 2 plus 1. And see, this value will be z minus, so this value cos 90 degrees is 0 by, this value is z square minus 0 plus 1. So, this is going to become z square by this is z square plus 1. So, this is cos of n pi by 2. Clear? So, we got cos of n pi by 2 value as z square by z square plus 1. And next coming to this one sin n pi by 2. See here in this value. So, we have z sin n, n t value is equal to See here the value here is z sin t by z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. So from this, so if I keep t is equal to pi by 2. See here in this if I keep t is equal to pi by 2, I will be getting the fourth value that is sin of n pi by 2 is equal to z sin pi by 2 by z square minus 2z cos pi by 2 plus 1. See here, sin pi by 2, sin pi by 2 value is nothing but 1 and cos pi by 2 value is equal to 0. If I substitute, this will be z square minus z square minus 0 plus 1 and z of sin n pi by 2 value is nothing but z by, this is z square plus 1. So, we got z of sin n pi by 2 value as z by z square plus 1. So, this value is z square by z square plus 1 and this value is z by z square plus 1. So, I need uh, z transforms of a power n cos nt and z transform of a power n sin nt. And this is also so simple. See here, as we have both the values here, as we have both the values as cos nt is equal to, see here, z of cos nt value, we have, this is the solution 5, is equal to z by z minus cos t, by this is z square minus 2z cos t plus 1. Now I am going to use the damping rule. So according to the 
according to the damping rule we have z of a par n into f of n value is equal to f of z by a in place of z we have to write z by a so now i am going to write here so we need the value of z of a par n cos n d is equal to a par n into f of n so in place of z i have to write z by a therefore this is z by a into z by a minus cos t by this is z by a whole square see here in place of z i am writing z by a this is cos t plus 1 so this will be the solution so this can be written as z by a and this is z minus this is a cos t by a by so this is going to become z square by a square minus 2z cos t by a plus 1 and see now I will cancel this one so this will be z by a square this is z minus a cos t divided by so if I take a square as LCM then this will be z square minus 2z a cos t plus a square so now if I cancel these two and z of a power n this is cos n t value is going to become what is the numerator here z into z minus a cos t by so this is z square minus 2 z a this is cos t plus the value here is a square so this is also so simple if you use the damping rule and now the next and the last question here is we are going to solve z of a power n into cos n t so here we got this value so this value is also clear and now we are going to calculate z of a power n into sin n t and now we have so now we have z of sin n t is equal to see here this is the solution 6 z of sin n t is nothing but z sin t by this value is z square minus 2 z cos t plus 1 and according to the damping rule so I am using this uh, damping rule according to the damping rule z of a power n into f of n is equal to the function of z by a so I need the value of z of a power n into sin n t so in this I can replace z by z by a so according to the damping rule this is z by a sin t in place of z so I have to write z by a so this is z by a whole square minus 2 times of z by a cos t plus 1 now it's also very simple this is z sin t by a so if i take a square lcm so this will be z square 2 z a this is cos t plus a square now if i um, cancel this for one time so for one time so a goes to the numerator and this will be z a sin t by this is z square minus 2 z a cos t plus a square and this is the value of z of a power n into sin n t so hope you all guys understand this is very very simple concept so all the six values are very very important very very important questions so these are first we have to consider this one cos theta plus i sin theta and now we have to multiply with this and after multiplying we have to equate the real parts and the imaginary parts after equating the real parts and the imaginary parts we got these two and these two are so important so if i substitute t is equal to pi by 2 we'll be getting z transform of cos and pi by 2 and if we keep t is equal to pi by 2 so we'll be getting z transform of sine n pi by 2 and similarly using damping rule z transform of a power n cos n t and z transform of a power n sin n t is also clearly solved hope you all guys understand 
please practice definitely these are damn sure questions and if you really like subscribe to this channel and pass it on to your friends